Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Steve and Nina Show. This is Steve. I'm doing my first Bible devotional for the men today, uh, but I guess ladies are welcome too. It doesn't just have to be for the men, but I know Nina does hers Friday for women, so I decided to do a Tuesday one. So uh, we got this book at church one year for Father's Day. They passed them out to all the fathers. And it's devotions for men and strong in the Lord and talking about being strong in God with God's help. So the first one I want to do is from 1 Samuel 17, 37. And it says, David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the, this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Now this is the story of David and Goliath. And Goliath has been challenging the Israelites, and nobody will go fight him. Well, David comes, and at this time, David was just a little youth, and uh, keeping watch over the his dad's sheep and stuff. And so he comes to bring food to the army, and he sees this Philistine. So he's wondering why nobody's going after him. Well, he decides to fight, and Saul tries to put his armor on David. Well, David's small, and so the armor wouldn't fit. So David decides he's just going to go out with his... Uh, David decides he's going to go out with his slingshot, and he's going to slay the Philistine. So the devotional says, Goliath was scary. Lions are scarier. Goliath had five fingers. Lions have five retractable claws. Goliath's voice could be heard a mile away. A lion's roar echoes over five miles. Goliath could not sprint for any meaningful distance. Lions capture, capture their prey at 50 miles per hour. David fought hand-to-claw combat with the lion. David then went hand-to-claw with the bear. As a shepherd, David had to confront the predator circling his flock. So when the time came to confront the predator circling his people, David knew what to do. Be strong in the Lord. God had delivered David from the paw of a predator. God will de would deliver him from the ginormous hand of the Philistine predator named Goliath. The Lord had already shown he was stronger than a lion. There is no reason to think that a lesser foe, Goliath, would prove too strong for God. In Christ Jesus, God has shown that he is stronger than any predator circling you today. Jesus has proven his strength over disease by many miraculous healings. He has demonstrated his power over nature by settling storms. He has empowered even death itself by leaving his own tomb empty on resurrection morning. Jesus is stronger than any foe. On the cross, Jesus went hand and nail against death. Even when the giant weight of sin lay on his shoulder, Jesus remained victorious. Even when his life lay in the claw of hell, Jesus prevailed. Despite the many predators that may be hungry, hungrily encircling you and your family today, trial and temp temptation, fatigue and fear, Stress and suffering, God will prevail. When it comes time to confront those predators, you know what to do. Be strong in the Lord. He is stronger. God will give you the strength when the paw of fear pushes against you. The Lord will strengthen you when the claw of the enemy digs in your fa into your family. You are stronger than any foe in the strength of Christ Jesus. Now, I thought about David when he went up against... Goliath. Goliath mocked him because he was just a youth. And David uh, said to Goliath, he said, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. And this is in 1 Samuel 17th chapter, at the, starting at the 41st. 45th verse. 
46th verse says, This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take my, thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day into the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword or sp and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. So David come with just a, five stones and a slingshot, and he slew Goliath. And I was thinking, you know, we watch uh, shows about grizzly bears, and when a grizzly bear gets up on its hind feet and stands straight up, it's, he's eight foot tall, average. Goliath was over nine feet tall, so he would have been a, a foot or so taller than a grizzly bear. So he was a pretty pretty fearsome person to go up against. But God, but David knew with God on his side that he could he could slay, slay Goliath. And I was thinking we all have some kind of Goliath in our lives, whether it be financial problems, family problems, health problems. But with God on our side and with God's help, then we can overcome those. He, God said he would never leave us or never forsake us. He'd go with us all the way. So we have that promise today that God's going to take care of his children. And uh, so like David, David knew that God would take care of him. And we know today that God will take care of us. I've had many Goliaths in my life. Uh, you know, my liver transplant, that was a, a fearful thing at that time because we didn't know what was going to happen. Didn't know if I would get a transplant, but God brought me through that. And then a month and a half later, I got the graft versus host disease. And they didn't know, they, they really didn't think I would make it through that. I only had a one and a half percent chance of living. But once again, God brought me through that. So, God, God's there for us. He, he'll take care of us. If we put all of our trust into him, David put all of his trust into God to defeat the Philistine, to, to, to defeat Goliath. And if we put all of our trust in, in God and let him, let him do what he needs to do, so a lot of times we get ourselves in the way and we try to do things ourselves before God can can do what he needs to do. So we need to just let God take control of everything and let God have control of our lives and just let him work. And we need to just sit still and and let him work. I put a... a Bible verse on our sign at church, and it says, be still and know that I am God. So we need to just be still and let God work and not get in God's way. He will take care of us no matter what Goliath comes our way. He will take care of us, and, and he will be with us all the way and give us strength. We can draw strength from God's word we can draw strength from knowing that God's always there with us. So I hope you guys have a good day. I, I hope this is all right. Like I said, I'm just starting out, so hopefully it'll get better as I go. But thank everybody for watching, and just have a blessed day. Thank you.